a long time ago, in fact, 2,000 years ago, there was a young couple, Mary and Joseph. And they had to go to Bethlehem because the government told them they had to go and fill in some forms there. Now Mary was pregnant and she was almost due to give birth to her baby. Before she fell pregnant, an angel came to speak to Mary and to Joseph and told them that the baby they were going to have would be the Son of God and that he would come into the world to save the people from their sins. And the angel said that they must call the baby Jesus. So Mary and Joseph set off for Bethlehem from the town of Nazareth where they lived. But when they arrived in Bethlehem, the little town was full of people, because those people also had come to fill in the government forms. And because there was no internet in those days, they couldn't make a booking online, no tripadvisor.com. So there was no room for them anywhere. They knocked on some doors, but the answer was always the same. Fully booked, no rooms available. But there was one kind man, and he saw that Mary was very pregnant. And he felt he couldn't just turn them away. He had to make a plan. So he said to Mary and Joseph, I want to help you. The best I can do for you is just to make a little bit of space in the stable, you know, the place where I keep my animals warm from the winter. There's no air conditioning. There's no Wi-Fi. In fact, there isn't even a bed. You'll have to sleep on the hay. Mary and Joseph were very grateful. So when Jesus was born, Mary took one of the mangers, which is the thing that the animals eat out of, and she put some hay in it just to make it as comfortable as possible for her baby. And she put the baby Jesus in there. Not long afterwards, the stable door creaked open. And in came some shepherds. And Joseph said to them, can I help you? And the shepherd said, well, the weirdest thing just happened. We were sitting in the fields watching over our sheep, you know, to make sure that no bulls come to attack them. When when suddenly the sky got all bright and it was so bright we actually couldn't see properly. But then we heard some singing, some really, really beautiful singing. We think it was angels. And then someone spoke from that light as well and said, in town, a baby has just been born and he's going to grow up and he's going to show us what God is really like. And he's going to help all of us learn to love and to trust in God. It's a wonderful story. But it's more than just a story. It's a story to tell us that Jesus came into the world so that we would know that God will always love us. From when we are little to when we are very old, God will always love us. When we are naughty and when we are good, God will always love us. God will always love us. Say it with me. God will always love us. One more time. God will always love us. Yay!